Hi, Dilly Holy Universe. Welcome to uh, this game, Fallout 4. And whatever you want, forget it. I can't be bothered with it right now. We just brought back Ashes for Aaron. And last time we were in a very big glitch where the quest that pops up for over here didn't pop up at all. But wrong room. But Oops, forgot to do something. See, I'm recording this very early in the day. Probably a bad idea. But I'm only doing that because I always forget. <laughs> and I, uh... Then I'm up all night trying to record to edit this together. But here we go. have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. <laughs> a junky genius. What Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Um... I'll do it. For Austin. You have a good heart. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. You junkie genius. Also reminds me of Corey Graves. Just saying. Move your Corey Graves looking motherfucker. Hello, lady. Sweet, thanks. Is that it? It reminds me of Dark Souls, the way he kicked in and a new door opened. Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Dark Souls content. I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne, too. I kind of like Bloodborne more than Dark Souls. Alright, so now we are in a dungeon. It's filled with mole rats. Which, by the way, you gotta be careful in this dungeon because you don't want to get bit. Even though, actually, I have a mod on. <laughs> Just remember, I have a mod on that um, lets me be able to craft the cure. So I think we'll be fine. But my other save, I'm completely diseased because I let mole rats bite me. Jesus. Gonna be your last mistake. Yep, there it is. Unexpected. 
I say we have to be careful. Don't let anything bite you, and I get diseased on the first one. <laughs> I mean, to do that. Hold on. I'm trying to. R1. Get mole rat disease. Minus 10 off your top health. No matter. I hope there's a chemical crafting thing up here, because then I get to see what I have to get to cure me of my mole rat disease. Oh, and this vault is actually kind of sick. And we'll be seeing that later in a terminal entry. Radix. Always good. Always good. Always gonna get a little bit of Radix, you know what I'm saying? something that's a little more long distance. So used to other menus, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I'm not used to Fallout right now. God damn it. <laughs> so used to other menus. Now, the last time I played this area, because the last time I played this area was my cheat character, but I didn't have health cheats, I died a lot because of those robots. And the reason why I died a lot is because I came in here first thing right out of the vault. Don't ask me why, I was just like, let's go straight and get Curie. I think the reason for that is the companion, which I said her name, um, the companion you get from this is, is just a pain to boost her stats. God damn it. Well, let's use the dog nice. meat method. Then it's not really a pain, it's just kind of tedious. Okay, I think we're good here. Now the funny thing is, we haven't even done much in this game yet. Damn it. Feels like we've done a lot, but... Got it. Really, we haven't done... A damn thing. Got their own little kitchen back here. I love this sniper rifle. Oh, and by the way, the Morat disease does not wear off. Um, 
you literally are with it for the rest of your life unless you get the cure. Hope you guys don't hear that motorcycle outside. But yeah, the, that's the main reason why I downloaded that mod. Is because, uh, um, sorry, my mind's going blank as I'm doing this. Yeah, but that's the reason why I downloaded that one mod is because if I freaking want to get rid of that disease and if I got bit, which I did from the first fucking mole rats. <laughs> Um, then I'm going to have to use the care. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Hmm, I'm thinking. I am thinking... Moon or grow? Moon or grow? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go with moon. Welp. And we're locked out. Fuck it. Frack it. Only open up this fucking piece of junk anyways. So frack it. weird <laughs> okay mole rats are gonna pop out here I don't know why that mole rats like that they should pop out here yep there we go damn lost them is that it? did they leave? I don't know why Bastion was so careful about that one more rat. I don't know why these more rats are so low level either. Yeah, they're all level one, it seems. I don't know why. I don't have a mod on that makes them level one either. That's weird. I know for a fact I don't have a mod on that makes them level 1. I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do it with him. I just don't know what I can do. Why is him? It's the boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. I forgot who Katie was, but yeah. Here's the first terminal and first sign that something fucky's going on. I'll let you guys read that.
so um I'm gonna explain this early on. I don't know I didn't read that terminal so I didn't know uh what freaking that one said, but basically this area of the vault, like uh DeLuca was saying, um they experimented on well, this is gonna be a joy for you. Hello? You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. A real nice hold. Make this about you. Don't you think Jesus. about anyone other than yourself? That's your daughter can get sick house. like Austin. And you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. Blue, we're not you're alone. so busy, Hobbs. You have so much to do. Please explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so there's uh, the husband and wife arguing. Sorry, someone came in my room uh, and they told me bees are in the house. That's great. But I'm going to let you guys read this. You can pause now and you will have been read that. But yeah, the main reason, um, well, what was I talking about? Jesus Christ. DeLuca was saying that they experimented on these mole rats for viruses. Did you hear them? That's only half of it. Um, How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. This is normal for other journalists. Hey, something's out there. I never had them all attack me like this while I'm reading these things. It's kind of annoying. Um. Okay, I can pause like that. Um, so yeah, they were working on these mole rats and giving them diseases so they could cure them. But they were also spying on the other vault dwellers without their consent, without their knowledge. Um, I don't know why I'm taking mines. I don't even like mines. I barely use them. Um... But anyways, yeah, they were spying on these vault dwellers, and I believe, um, I should have read those things because this might be misinformation, but I believe they were also trying to poison them so they can cure them to work on the, the cures for diseases, which I oh, wouldn't, smell that? which if, even if I'm wrong, I wouldn't put it past vault tech to do that. Because vault tech is evil. Boom. One to the dome. So yeah. vault is probably working these diseases on the other vault denizens. Fuck it. We're just going to keep going. Now, this is where you'll probably get bit. Really? <laughs> Explosion! What was that? One piece. Ironically enough, Bobby DeLuca says he was hiding his chems here. I didn't find his chems. Unless he moved them. Which would make sense. Yeah, this is probably where you're going to get bit. 
blue were not. I see you! No. Not today, Molly. <laughs> he kind of like grabs his face, like, ow, oh, no! There's the brood mother, which will probably be the thing that invites you. Boom! Bye to your head. Oh, well, there's another brood mother. I think this is shoddy time. clean striped suit in here. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Stealth boy, always good. There's a couple things in here that's pretty good. A couple of things I think mean only that stim pack and stealth boy because, um, because the reason why I always say stealth packs are really good one they heal you, which is a good thing. But other other, blah, 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 blah. let's uh, learn to speak first. Um, unlike the other games, the stealth pack is um, or the stim pack, I should say. Is very hard to find in this game. It's very expensive. Well, in other games, yes, it is very expensive because it's a healing item. Um, I can find a bunch of them easily. Also, I love how in this game uh, you can imply that your character is a vampire. Because he already knows how to... Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh, damn it. We gotta do that. Wait. I think... I think there's actually a... Password for the door. I'll let you guys read this. I'm letting that linger on the screen long enough for you guys to pause and read it. I just don't feel like reading it because uh, I already know kind of what happened here. Like I, I forget if it's um, they're also testing on the other vault dwellers. Or if they just did it on the mole rats and they're just spying on the other dog. Oh, wait. I forgot one. And they're just spying on the other vault dwellers. But I'm thinking it's more of the first one. I believe that was the password to that terminal that I just picked up. I know I should probably read it, and I know it's lazy of me not to, but I just don't feel like reading it right now. Thank you. Thank you very much.
some sort of memorial. I'm gonna turn off my pitbull light. Oh, another stranger. Are you Vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Um, yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. So, she doesn't really look like that. Since you are a vault representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Okay, um, first we want to get nice. this bubblehead. There is a terminal here. Let you guys read that. Didn't mean to do that, but I did. And is there anything else in here? Can you move, please? There's another terminal. Research. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's get that cure to the boy and save his life. Hold on, I'm gonna do something right quick just for the sake of thumbnails because this might be one of the things I want to make a thumbnail of. Okay. I might put that in the thumbnail. I don't know. All I know is I don't know if I can get back here so easily if I leave. So. Might as well do it now. Speaking of leaving, let's get the fuck out of here. Analysis of you indicates you have suffered very little from radiation. Curious.
Huh? <laughs> you should see Dr. Forsyth. I heard he has a job for you. Yeah, we're doing a job for him. Request, we travel extensively and collect data. Now, I'm really surprised that once that door opens, no one turns around like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes? That's what I would program into the game, like someone being shocked to see that fucking door open, because they don't even know that door exists. The cure. You found it. Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope now, there's works. an option to make him get, let you keep the cure, but that's the negative karma option, so... We're not doing it. It shouldn't be long. What? Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you this syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I, go see I hope you enjoy your accommodations. So I wanted to say Austin thank you again for what you did for Austin. Uh -huh. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Whatever vault Tech had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. And there we go. Like, for comment, and subscribe if you like this, guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.